Hi guys, welcome back to Origami Twist. Today's day seven of Daily December and also something very, very special. In our house, Saturday is actually a day of rest, so I'm not going to do a big complicated tutorial or anything today, though I do have a couple of neat surprises coming up in the next couple of days as far as tutorials go. I'm just going to do a very quick video with a, with a really neat little tutorial for you that goes along with something that is a very special thing that my husband and I do. I saw this idea on Pinterest, I think it was last year, something several months ago anyway, and we decided to implement it in our household. And basically what we do is we have a big jar and every day we think of something that has been a blessing in our lives that day. Either something we're grateful for or uh, something that was just beautiful that we saw, you know, so any, anything that we can think of that equals something that we feel blessed about. And we write it down and put it in this jar. And then at the end of the year, we're going to have an entire jar full of blessings. And then we can go back and read through them and everything. And I thought this was perfect for December because January 1st is coming, which is uh, all that new beginnings stuff that happens. And so I thought, you know, just a neat idea to do during maybe the next year. Something to set as a New Year's resolution, perhaps. Okay, so there's this. I've got to connect it to papercraft, though, right? Okay, that's easy. You see this? A lot of people like to call them lucky stars. They're really cute. They're little puffy stars made out of paper. Very simple to make. And I was thinking, how cool would it be? to write your blessing or the thing you're grateful for on one of these and then fill a jar full of these and then have them to unfold and, and open and read the next year. So I'm just gonna quickly show you how to do it and then wish you a really good day. All right, here's the tutorial. Okay guys, here is the tutorial for the Lucky Star. First off, I tested a whole bunch of different widths of paper and uh, including the half inch, five eighths of an inch, and three quarters of an inch. All of these are doable, but I found the five eighths of an inch which just w worked the nicest for this project. So I would go with five eighths of an inch wide, though the other ones will work. Okay, or anything in between will work. All right, so let's have a look at that. I found that between eight and nine inches was a good length for this. You do need anything higher than that, um, needed too much wrapping around in order to complete the star so you're wasting paper. Anything less than that uh, ran the risk of not getting as far as you needed to around it in order to make it a substantial star. So once again, 5 eighths of an inch wide by 9 inches long. And this is, cop this is just scrapbooking paper, so any copy copy paper weight paper or lighter will work for this. I wouldn't suggest using cardstock. It's just not not going to be very effective. You could, but it's just going to be harder to work with. So the first thing you need to do in order to make your star is to tie an overhand knot in the end of the paper, <laughs> which sounds very silly, but it's very very effective. Because as you as you tighten it, you want to be very gentle with it. As you tighten it, you'll find that the sides of the paper are all about the same width. They're all about 5 eighths of an inch long. And if you fold that over, you now have a pentagon at the end of your paper. What you're going to do now is just slightly press down. You don't want to crease the edges of this one as you will need it to be puffy later and that'll make it difficult if it's creased. You're just going to wrap your paper exactly where the paper wants to go around the edges of that pentagon making sure that it's as neat as possible and that all of the edges line up and you'll find as you're wrapping this it just sort of wants to go there so it's it's not a difficult not a difficult process now you decide where you want to tuck the end in in this case it's it's ending up uh, yeah, I guess it'll tuck in okay. So there you go. You tuck it into a previous wrap, like so. If it's a little bit longer but it won't tuck in, just fold it over and tuck it into the last one. It doesn't matter too much as long as that, as long as it's uh, finished off there. Okay. Then you take your fingernails 
and very, very gently press in on the sides of each side of that pentagon. Oh, see, I should have, should have tucked it in a bit sooner. Oh, well, that's all right for this example. And then you just shape it until you're happy with the shape. And there you go. One, or how about two, lucky stars. I hope you have a really great night, guys, or a really great day, and we'll see you tomorrow for Daily December, Day 8. Take care, guys.